Welcome to the homework for lesson 23. This is module two of grade one. Write your name here first. That's the easiest question you're going to have to answer on this one is what your name is. So you might as well get credit for that one right off. Now for every word problem, we always read it. Make sure you read all the words in the word problem carefully and you really understand it. Don't just look at the numbers. You got to read all the words. It really matters. And then draw a picture and label the picture and then W write a number sentence and a statement that matches the story. You gotta see what your answer is. We do this all the time for every word problem and just what you're gonna do in second grade, third grade, the whole rest of your school career all the time uh, every day for every word problem so we're doing it right now. Micah collected nine pine cones on Friday and some more on Saturday. Micah collected a total of 14 pine cones. How many pine cones did Micah collect on Saturday? So he collected on these ones where there's different days and different things happening at different times. It's, it can be hard to think of it all at once in your head and figure it out and then draw the picture. So don't. Just draw the picture one sentence at a time and then look at what you have to figure out. So, so some of us will do that. We'll read it all and try to solve it all in our heads and then draw everything out afterwards. But that's just, sometimes it's just too hard. So Mike collected nine pine cones on Friday. So that's what I'm going to draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And these are Friday pine cones. There's nine of them. Some more on Saturday. Now, I don't know how many more. So that's what I don't know. Um, but I do know that the total is going to be 14. <clears throat> now I can see all I have to do is draw these until I have 14 pine cones and then just write down how many I had to draw, how many more. So this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So these are the Saturday pine cones and now I can just see how many there are. There's 5. Micah collected five pine cones Saturday. I'm just going to write SAT for Saturday because I'm going to run out of room here. Gianna bought eight star stickers to add to her collection. Now she has 17 stickers in all. How many stickers did Gianna have at first? So we know about, we could just draw the picture as we read it. All right, we know about these eight star stickers that she bought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are the ones that she bought. And she has 17 in all. So these are the ones that she bought. And that's eight. And she has more, right? But she has a total of 17. 17 is the whole. So we have to find out how much more we have to add here to have all, all, 17 in all. So that's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And these are the ones that she uh, had at first, F first. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine. That's what we had to figure out. I'm going to box that. You don't have to. 17, we knew 17 would be the total. So Gianna had nine stickers. 
at first. Samil counted five pigeons on the street. Some more pigeons came. There were 13 pigeons in all. How many pigeons came? All right, so here's uh, five on the street. One, two, three, four, five. These are the pigeons. These are the street pigeons, S. Got to label those pictures. More pigeons came. We don't know how many, but we know that there's going to be 13 in all. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So these are the more pigeons that came. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we had the five on the street plus the eight more that came equaled 13 pigeons in all. Eight more. Here's how you spell pigeons. Right here. Eight more pigeons came. Claire had some eggs in the fridge. She bought 12 more eggs. Now she has 18 eggs in all. How many eggs did Claire have in the fridge at first? Now, just for variety, I've been doing all addition number sentences. That one, the first three, I've done all with addition. You can do these with subtraction, too. If you know the whole and you have a, a missing part, you can use subtraction to find out, too. So... That would be, uh, we know the eight, we know the in all, right? Because it's eight eggs, 18 eggs in all. So we could draw all 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 eggs. She bought 12 more, right? So we got to cross out 12, 10, 11, 12. Those are the more that she bought. And these are the ones she had at first, F. So we know we started with the 18 in all, and we crossed out the 12 more that she bought, and we found out that there were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 left. Claire, there's her name right there, had six eggs at first. And that's what you got to have. You have to have a picture, a labeled picture. You have to have a number sentence. And you have to have a, sen a word sentence that says what your answer is. You got to have that for every single word problem. All, all, you got to have all three of those things for all word problems.